Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Trizzle, and we are going to be doing another tutorial on refined power. This one's going to focus on wind, water, and solar. A lot of this is self-explanatory, some of it is a little more tricky. And in the next video, we're going to do refined power mod settings, because you can drastically change your game in the settings. But for now, let's focus on wind, water, and solar. First up is solar panel. We have a Mark I solar panel right here, has a maximum output of eight megawatts. We have a Mark II solar panel with a maximum output of 75 watts. Now, the main difference between these two besides output is that the Mark II can track the moon as well. So at night, it can still generate power, whereas the Mark I can only generate power when the sun is out. And then you have the Mark III, which, which also can track in the night and during the day. Its output is 150 megawatts at the peak. Up next is wind turbine. The Mark I wind turbine has a maximum efficiency at 300 meters and above, which gives you the maximum output of 30 megawatts. The Mark II also has a maximum efficiency of 300 meters and above, with a maximum output of 100 megawatts. The Mark III wind turbine also has a maximum efficiency of 300 meters and above with a maximum output of 100 megawatts. Now, the difference between wind power and solar panel power is it has waves instead of continuous output. Let me show you. Solar panels have a nice flat output of power. Whereas wind turbine, you have waves. So at the minimum of this one, you have about, I don't know, what, 21, 21.4 megawatts of power. At the maximum, you have 236. You can change this in the settings, which I'll go over later. When placing wind turbines, sometimes it can be difficult to figure out how far out to space them. Because if you place them too close to each other, it shuts off and you get this message that says too many turbines in the surrounding area. However, the devs created a little visual indicator to help us figure out how far out we should be. So if you press R, you notice in the Middle, bottom, it says build mode show sphere. So if we were to place this anywhere within the circle of another one, it'll be red. But if we go far enough out, it'll turn blue. Sometimes it'll be bugged and it won't turn from red to blue. But for the most part, it will. So for example, this one is good right there. And if you notice, boom, they're both working. We don't have any kind of errors saying they're too close. The bigger they are, the further out the sphere is. Or the further out you need to place them, I mean. So you look at that. And then the Mark III is also the same way. Look how much further out we have to go. Look at that. So that's the solar, I'm sorry, that's the wind power. And then last, you have Mark I solar roofs with the maximum of 20 megawatts you have flat one meter two meters and four meters they're just like 
any other roof except that they would generate power. And it connects underneath for a clean look. Look at that. Right directly underneath, it's connected, and they provide a nice, straight, constant output of power. Next up, we have the water dam. The water dam gives us the ability to create hydroelectric power and generate water as well. So the dam is under refined power. And look for it under turbines, it says water dam. And you can't just place the water dam anywhere. You have to find a node that supports the water dam. So in order to do that, we hold V as in Victor. And we're just going to scan, scan for water dam nodes. We have one right there and one right there. And one over there. I think there might be another one. So to place them, it's really simple. Open it up. And it will visualize for you where the dams go. All you do is just hover it over and then click. And then click again. And then you can come over to this one. And you can keep clicking as long as they show up. So there's a little icon. Sometimes you can't see it, but as long as you can see that icon right there, shows you where to place the dam. And I don't see any other ones. I see just these three right here. Let's see, are there any more? I don't believe that there are any more. Am I going to get hit by one of these guys? Oh, you're still annoying. Even in God mode, you're still annoying. Ugh, you guys are so annoying. Anyway, sorry about that. And so right off, right off the start, it is already generating 350 megawatts of power and 200 megawatts of power and 150. Now, the amount of power that they can generate depends on how wide of the dam it is. And that's all based on predetermined placements that the devs have made. So you cannot make this any bigger, wider, nothing. All you get to do is just plop it down. And then they also generate water too in case you need extra water. But that comes at a cost of half power. So, for example, this one will generate 420 cubic meters of water. Hold on one second. Can you guys just, I don't know, leave me alone? Please, just leave me alone. I know you guys want to be friends, but you're really annoying. Go away. Okay, why are you not dying? There we go. Sorry about that. Really? 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 Go away. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, so it does generate water. And in order to generate water, it puts the water output about half. So you can just click the on button. About 175 megawatts, so that's half the power, and it will automatically start storing up water. And in order to get the water out, you just connect the pipe to it, and then you can store it if you want for later. And then there you go, it's filling it up. So if you want an early way of water production along with power generation this is the way to go anytime i'm um playing a new game i always use the water dams first like the first thing i do is quickly unlock it and then i just go around the entire map placing these guys everywhere 
so that I can um, have early access to water, early access to power, and it doesn't use that much of a footprint. Because if you look, this this is pretty compact for power generation and water generation. Same thing with this one over there. We have 200 megawatts of power. If we turn the water on, we're generating 100 megawatts and it's actually starting to fill up. And if we turn it off, it'll keep that stored until we want to dump it. So for example, if I want to dump it right there, look at that. We're already starting to dump the water and then it's now just chilling. Now you'll see this and it'll look like it's generating power, but it's not. Or I'm sorry, generating water, but it's not. It's just the way the mod is set up. So if you want power generation, you gotta sacrifice half your power and it'll turn on and generate water once you click that on button. But by default, it's off. So be sure to click the, uh, the button. And then the last thing we need to focus on for this mod are water turbines. Look at this guy. So you'll see these nodes around. You might be like, oh, what's that? So these are water turbine nodes. This one gives you an output of 20 megawatts. And let's look at this one over here. This one is 20 megawatts of power. This is my uh, power generation right now. I, I'm using a mod that just gives a little crazy. This one's 20, this one's 20. Now they're not all 20. They all vary depend on where you put them. So depending on the water node, your output could be either 8, 20, or 50 megawatts. So like I said, these are all 20 over here. Let's go quickly down. Ah, see, this one right here is eight, eight, eight. We're starting to see a trend here, eight. Now let's say you don't wanna have to go all the way up and down a river to find these little nodes. So you may ask yourself, you know, hey, where can I find these nodes? If you hold down V, you can scan for water turbine nodes, just like this. And it will populate your compass along with showing you on the map. Now there is one node over here that's kind of hidden, okay? So for example, let's uh, let's go to the where are you? node. I don't know why this one's here. It just is. And I think there's one more hidden inside here. Yep, there we go. Nope, maybe not. But there is one in the game somewhere. Oh, I don't have my map unlocked. But uh, there, there's one that's underground. It's hidden inside a rock that you can't get to. It's really annoying. Because uh, I went around the map and I claimed every single node, every single dam. And I'll tell you what, it generates an insane amount of power when you have them all unlocked. So if you ever get the opportunity, I would highly recommend just start capping all these water nodes and all the dams. It's well worth it. It really is. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, be sure to give it a like, comment below for any questions, concerns you might have, and then hit that subscribe button for more tutorials like this. My name is Mr. Trizzle. Have a good one.